then must begin to think of viable initiatives that will culminate in every plant that is planted, every tree that is planted to grow to maturity. To the speaker, it is one thing to say that we want to plant 15 billion trees. It's achievable. But out of those 15 billion trees that we plant, how many will grow to maturity? That is a conversation that we must have as leaders. Not, and the beauty about climate, Mr. Speaker, is that it knows no side. It doesn't know the leadership in the minority or the majority. It affects all of us equally. So Mr. Speaker, we need to come up with initiatives to grow trees. Mr. Speaker, I heard yesterday, and I've been hearing this story, that El Nino is on the way. The Speaker, we must find a silver lining, even in that extreme weather condition. This is the opportunity now for regions of this country that are known to be rain deficit, uh, to move with speed and put in place measures uh, to grow as many, many trees as possible. And in fact, even as we grow those trees, then we encourage uh, sections of this country, counties in this country, uh, to enter, to formally enter in the carbon uh, market. The speaker, going to the bill, I want to say that this bill has come to us a bit late. We, we must be our own critics. We must be able to look ourselves in the mirror and tell us the truth. That the speaker, we are amending a bill that was passed in 2016. Matters climate move very, very fast. This actually should be a fourth or a fifth amendment to the 2016 bill. But as speaker, because we are it, we have to deal with it as it is, and as we deal with it as speaker, we are actually in a race against time uh, in the eyes of the world to tick boxes, because that's what we are doing. Now we have visitors coming in a few days, we have to be seen to belong, so we have to pass this bill. For that reason, we have called a special sitting of the Senate, so that we fast track this bill. Mr. Speaker, going forward, it is only important that as leadership we are proactive on matters that affect us as a nation. The Speaker, we are, as a country, we are a state party uh, to the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, and so we must lead ourselves by example, knowing, the Speaker, that we are the headquarters of the United Nations Environment Programme. We, 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 in the, the entire world, when on matters environment, the entire world, they bow before Nairobi. 